Hello there. Welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. And today I'm reviewing a fragrance which is something of an old stager in the world of men's scent. It is Floris Special Number no. 127, a fragrance which was created in 1890 and has persisted over these many, many decades to be a perennial in the florist catalogue right up to the modern day. It is equally as popular today within the range as I think it has ever been. And for good reason, because it is a fragrance which is perfect in the warmth of the summer months. It is a classic, zesty, citrusy fragrance, which is often described as a fragrance which can be worn by men or women. And it is fair to say in its history, it's been worn by both. Now, whilst I say that 127 is an old stager, it harks from the house of Floris, which itself was founded in 1730. So it is a lot of heritage here on the table in 127 and also um, the house from which it was released. Over its lifetime, it's been the favorite of the great and the good. Probably the most famous wearer of 127 was Winston Churchill, former Prime Minister of Great Britain, a wartime leader in World War II, and a man who enjoyed the luxurious things in life. He's often quoted as having been the wearer of 127 uh, and Penhaligon's Blenheim Bouquet. They share a lot of similarities. They're quite light, zesty summer fragrances. But 127, I think, is a fragrance which is very classical in its nature. I would go as far as to say it is quite old fashioned and it bears more than a passing resemblance to one of its stable mates in the florist house and that is florist number 89. Now of course 127 came a lot um, more recently, sorry, a lot further back than 89 which um, only came into about you know a few decades ago. 89 of course is famous because it's often marketed as the fragrance of James Bond, mostly because uh, Ian Fleming, the creator of James Bond, was definitely somebody who was an aficionado of 89. But when you smell 127, you definitely are able to detect the DNA in the fragrance of 89. 89 is stronger, more powerful, a bit more overbearing. 127, a lot lighter. And as I say, it's described as a fragrance which can be worn by men and women. Whilst they say Churchill was a wearer, on the female side, Eva Perón, also known as Evita, actress and politician from Argentina, um, she was known to be uh, a wearer of 127 too, so male or female. Personally, I would say, I think it leans more down the masculine route. There's a muskiness to it, but there we go. You know, you, you, uh, you choose your fragrance on your personal preference. Now, as with any fragrance, the proof is in the pudding, in the smelling, and let's give it a try. This bottle of 127, I purchased from Floris's main building, or their main store, in uh, number 89 German Street in London, just a few months ago, and I've been wearing it for about two or three months now, mostly during the summer. Oh, and as soon as you take the fragrance up the nostrils, you're hit with a zest, zesty citrus burst, which is quite classical, quite old school barbershop, it is fair to say. I go as far as to say it smells old fashioned, but in a good way. And I, I mean that, it certainly does. It is a soapiness, a cleanliness to it, which is really rather pleasing. Now, let me tell you some of the things that you may wish to know about this wonderful, zesty, clean, citrus fragrance. Um, when would you wear it? What season? Well, as I've alluded, it is definitely a fragrance for the warmer months because of its cut, uh, the cutting nature of the citrus main essence within its fragrance. So definitely spring and summer and the warmer months there. Um, age range, I've said it's a bit old fashioned. I'm gonna stick to that. I'm going to suggest this is more likely to be the choice of a mature man. I'm going to say somebody over 40. I'm a 52-year-old gentleman myself, 
and I think this falls squarely into my orbit of being a fragrance that I would wear. And maybe this is something you could wear right up into your 80s and 90s. I think a, a person in their 20s or 30s may struggle with the conformity of this fragrance, but it's a personal opinion as ever. Um, is it a day or a night fragrance? I would say definitely a day fragrance. It is light, all right? This isn't an overwhelming fragrance. It's something I would suggest you wear maybe in the office because it's not gonna offend anybody. It's really inoffensive. It is very light. And because of that, it's a daytime fragrance. The evening, when the temperatures go down, or if you're in a group of other people in a, in a, in a, in a restaurant or something of that nature, this isn't gonna be noticed. It is light and not really gonna domineer anybody's nostrils. So a daytime fragrance for sure. Is it an occasion fragrance? And by that, I mean, is this a scent that you would wear to a special occasion because it means something to you? I'm gonna say yes and no. If it's a summer daytime event, you could probably do it. If you're getting married uh, in the summertime, it's an outdoor wedding, this would be fine. Um, but if you're, you know, if it's an evening event or an indoor event and you want something a bit more special, which boosts your confidence as well, after you've worn this for about an hour or so, you're not gonna notice it. It'll become a skin scent. So it loses its punch fairly quickly. As a result, not an occasion fragrance. Is it masculine? Although it's marketed as male or female, I would say it is predominantly a masculine fragrance because it is muskiness to its base notes, which, and it is close in relationship to um, florist number 89, which is absolutely a masculine fragrance. This is like almost a diluted version of 89. Um, I would say 127, it's masculine, but with, with a little M. It's not a capital M on that masculine, it's a lowercase m. What's the projection like? I would say the projection is low to moderate. And that's not a bad thing. This is a summer fragrance and we're not aiming to dominate people with an overwhelming smell. We want something which is subtle, classical and elegant. You could wear this with a lovely light colored linen suit and it would be a perfect partnership between your clothing and your fragrance. So that's fine. It doesn't have to be a super projector. Um, longevity, moderate at best. I mean, I personally just get a couple of hours of performance out of it, then it settles down to being a skin scent. But that in itself, as I say, that's fine for you know these months in the heat when I'm wearing it. I don't want something that's gonna make me feel sick or give me a headache on warm sunny days because you know it's this fuggy, scent hanging over me like a cloud. This doesn't do that at all. Third party comments, have I received any? Not generally. As I say, because it doesn't announce itself in a room, nobody's gonna come up to you and say, you know, hey there guy, what's that fragrance you're wearing? It's amazing. You know, they're just not gonna notice it. They just know that you will smell clean and fresh and, you know, zesty. So it doesn't really elicit many third party comments, but you will know that that lovely skin scent you have comes from a good source. Um, let's look at the bottle. It's a classic florist bottle. There's no excitement to be had here. This is 89, it's sibling, right? They look exactly the same as do all bottles from the florist range. So not a great deal of imagination, but from a classical point of view, you get exactly what you think, a florist bottle of fragrance. Value-wise, oh, but on that subject, before I say any more, the bottle that it, uh, the, the box that it comes in, just in case you're thinking about giving it as a gift. Again, it's the classic florist corporate box, only announcing the fact that it's 127 on the, um, the central motif in the middle, but classically elegant in a sort of Nile blue, which I've always thought is very stylish. Perfect as a gift. Its value is good, considering, I wouldn't say florist is a designer house, but it's certainly a heritage premier brand. It's 80 British pounds for a 100 milliliter bottle. I purchased mine from actually the florist store, but they retail for the same on any good online outlet, eBay, etc., cetera, um, Amazon, all the rest of them. You'll find it for approximately the same price, about 80 pounds for 100 milliliters, which I think 
it's fairly good value for money when you stack it up against some of those high price, um, equally performing designer fragrances. So what is my overall thoughts about this one and can I recommend it? Well, it's a classic and old fashioned fragrance from the 20th century and beyond, which is one of those signal fragrances. It signals that the person who's wearing it is elegant, they're stylish, they're probably gonna be well-dressed, they're probably gonna be well-groomed, and they are somebody who takes interest in what they're wearing, be it their clothing or their fragrance. Because, you know, this doesn't fall off the shelf. You've gotta go looking for florists, you've gotta track it down. When you do so, you choose a fragrance which suits your personality, and 127 will definitely fall into that category. So from my point of view, as a summer fragrance, this has been a bit of a go-to over the last few months. I wear it maybe every other day because it does what I need it to on these warm summer days. It makes me feel fresh and clean and zesty. And what more can a man want in the summer months? And at a very moderate price too. So well, that is my review. It's definitely worth adding to the collection if you like number 89 or any of the other classic old school fragrances from brands such as Floris. If you have enjoyed today's video, I would encourage you to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red button and subscribe if you'd like to join us on the Chaps Guide journey towards men's Chap Nirvana. You can practically support the channel by buying me a coffee and you will find a link for that in the show notes below. So until the next time, take care of yourselves, smell great in these summer days, and I will see you again very soon.